Okay, so here's the class, uh, Math 1B, and I'm going to show you how to make a quiz. Um, first off, uh, I, you have to be in the proper class, and here I am in Math 1B, proper class. Scroll down, and again, uh, here's question banks. I'm just going to show you that if I click this little arrow, and I just click on questions, you'll see, uh, as before I showed you, I did add chapter 0 and chapter 6. I'll just go to chapter 6 to show you. And notice I did, again, delete out the essay questions. There's only multiple choice here uh, in both chapter 6 and chapter 0. Okay. Um, how do we make the quiz? Well, from this screen here, the main screen of your class, make sure turn editing is on right over here. And then, where do you want to add the quiz? I want to add it here to the chapter 6 uh, data analysis area. So I'm going to go to add an activity or a resource. And then I'm going to add a quiz and say add. Okay, then it wants to know what the name of it is, and I'm going to call it test chapter 6. And uh, here's timing grade, how many points is it worth, uh, that you can change how many points is worth. Uh, well, first off, I want to be able to them take it unlimited amount of times, uh, give them the highest grade, so on. These are all settings that have already been pre-done for you. The only thing I would need you to do here in Concurrent is I need you to go down here and choose Completion Tracking, Show Activity as Complete when Conditions are Met, and check this condition right here. Students must receive a grade to complete this activity. And then I'm going to put save and return to course, or save and display. I'll go ahead and save and display it so we can add the questions. So save and display. Okay, it says no questions have been added yet. So we're going to edit quiz right here. And here we go. How many points is it worth? I can change that here. So, you know, I, can, I think I've been making them, I want to say 100 or 200 points. I, I can't remember. Well, for now, we'll just make it 100 points here. Save. And this is the uh, 100 points. Uh, test and here we go and let's add some questions so chapter zero uh, what is chapter zero chapter zero is just basic uh, ratios and very basic algebra so um, it's always good to have these things uh, you know just a few of them in there uh, to kind of reiterate, reiterate the ideas of, of basic algebra all the time um, if you ever want to just look at one you're not sure you can click preview and it'll preview what the question looks like to the student um, but what I'll do is I just scroll all the way down for chapter 0 it says chapter 0 here and what I'm gonna do is say with chapter 0 uh, choose let's say five questions and add random questions so out of all of those questions above there it's gonna choose five random ones and I'm gonna add them to the quiz and you can see here it does it adds the five questions right here and just says random question from category this so there's five questions in there but obviously this is a chapter 6 test and I want to have chapter 6 questions and there's 42 questions here and out of 42 um, I've been doing 25 per test so I, I, that may be too much I'm not sure um, we can go through and adjust that later but uh, chapter 6 I'll go ahead and ran add a random 20 questions out of chapter 6 and I'll say go ahead and add that to the quiz and if I scroll you'll see that the first five all say random question from category chapter 0 the rest say random category, uh, random question from category chapter six, and there's a bunch of those random questions pulled from it. And every time they retake the quiz, it's going to pull another random question, so the likelihood that they get the same one is not uh, that great. Obviously, the test will be completely different each time. Uh, they may see a few repeated questions, but in general, there'll be new ones all the time. Uh, so here we go. Up here, are the details: total marks 25, questions 25, but it's going to give a grade out of 100 points. Uh, so if they get all 25 questions correct, they will get 100 points. Um, if they got, uh, let's say, half those questions correct, they would get 50 points on the test out of 100. So this is the points that they'd be awarded. Um, although each question is only worth one point, they, that's inconsequential. This, these points only weight against each other, the questions. Uh, the total points for the test will be here. And that's it. All right, we're actually done. We learned how to click Save. I already did that. We don't have to click Save or anything. Just go back to Math 1B click on this here and here we are in the main class you can see the chapter test is there if you want to see if it works click on it and uh, we can go over here and just preview it we don't want to actually take this we're just going to preview the test right here on the side under quiz administration 
preview and it should pull them up there it is there's 25 questions like you can see they can flop around from question to question and that's it all done pretty easy to do